Hello guys and welcome to chapter 9 and in this chapter we will be learning about set operators. Now if you have already learned this in mathematics it's uh, it's similar to that union and union all intersect and minus we'll be using these three operations or operators we'll be doing operations using these three operators all right so and as I said if you have already did if you have already done this in mathematics class you are going to see the same results okay so let's open a workbench now here so the difference between an this is the difference between a set operator and the normal join query is in join query you get more columns right if you're joining two columns let's sorry if you're joining two tables let's say table one and table two you can have columns from both the tables in one in one result set right but in set, instead of joining different different columns with each other, what we do is we join the rows of both columns uh, vertically. Okay. So this is the union, right? Uh, if table one has this data, and table two also has this data, then in T one union T two, we will have all the data. We will have one, two, three, four. Okay. Let's, this is the example of union and we can see here the difference between union and, and inner join if table 1 has 1 2 3 and table 2 has 2 3 4 the result set will be 1 2 3 4 as you can see here result sets are appended vertically and in inner join uh, the join the rows are joined using one column right so if you are joining using id as the value is 1 here there is no corresponding id here right so one there will be no one in the result set and then we search for two is there two here yes it is so two will be joined with two and we'll have two two similarly this three will be joined with three and we will get the, both the columns now if there were more columns like name last name and we could also ha have those columns in the result set and there's no four here but there's four here so that column is also not here that row is also not visible here and as you can see both the ids are here id id that is result sets are appended uh, horizontally and in this unions or set operations result sets are appended vertically okay so let's say we want uh, all the customer name and employee names in one result set right so let's say we want the employee names and the customer names so to do that what we can do is select let's say first name comma last name from this okay let's hit control enter and we have our employee names and what we can do is we can do union and then we can do select what are the names here it's contact first name and contact last name go back here we go select contact first name was the end capital yes it was contact first name comma contact last name from customers and hit control enter now we have all the columns all the rows containing the first name and last name of our customers and our employees as you can see here when we were selecting from employees we only had 25 rows when we unioned it with contact first name and contact last name we had 148 rows okay now now we have the names but we don't know uh, which one of these are customers uh, sorry which one of these are yeah, yeah which one of these are customers and which one of these are employees right so wouldn't it be better if we had a column here saying person type and below that if it was a customer we had customer if it was a, an employee we had an employee right so to do that what we can do is by simply selecting uh, what we can write here we can write this is selecting, selecting from employees we can write here employee as 
person type right so all the columns will have this uh, employee when they are returned from employees and here we can write select contact first name contact last name comma customer as person type so this customer will be returned in person type column from customers table right we hit control enter as you can see these are the employees right if you go down and then from here we have our customers so that's how you use a union operator okay this is that's how you use union now with union what you can use is you can use distinct keyword okay you can do union distinct if you hit control enter as you can see it's the same thing here 148 rows are returned as before one so by default whenever we use only union uh, we can remove distinct because by default it does this union distinct okay the different one is union all now if you hit control enter as you can see 149 rows are returned so why is that why is the one more row returned when you are using union all and one less row is returned when we use union distinct that is uh, similar to using just union as you can see here that's because when we do union only the distinct rows are selected that means uh, one two three from here see one two three and then from second table only four because two and three are already selected here okay but when we do union all it select all the rows from first table and the second table so even if you have one two three here if we do union all we will have two three four again here so it will be one two three two three four so the rows with same values are also repeated when we have union all that is why we have 149 rows that is one more row returned when we do union all that means one of our customer and uh, one of our customer and and what and employee has the same name so that's what it means Now, so now we know uh, how to do unions of two different result sets. So here are the rules to follow. The first rule is uh, you gotta have same number of columns because obviously if there are uh, two columns in one result set and five columns in one result set, then what do we do with the rest of three columns when we, you know, kind of combine them together? Now we can definitely do null, but that's not the case. You need to have same number of columns and you need to have the compatible data type of columns. That means if there is a string value in first result set, there needs to be a string in second result set. Okay, so both of these data sets might be need to be compatible. And this was the syntax that we used. Select column list from table one, union select column list from table two. Pretty simple. Now we'll be talking about intersect. So this is exactly the same, you know, as uh, our union uh, operator. This is also the same, this is also the same, but the difference is instead of union, what we use is you use inter, uh, intersect. Now, the tricky part is if you try to just run this, it will not run in your MySQL server because there is no intersect query or intersect operator in your MySQL server. There is an SQL server and uh, port query SQL, I think, but it's not in MySQL, so why am I discussing it here? Because this is a MySQL course, right? I'm discussing here because the result of this query can be easily emulated in MySQL 2. Let me just give you an example. Not, ex not an example, you'll do it yourself. Let me give you a better, you know, an image. Let me show you an image. So as you can see here, and by now, as you probably know, in union, what we had is we the result of these two tables, joining these two tables were one, two, three. What was it? It was this, right? Yeah, we join these two tables, we get one, two, three, four. And if we do union all, what do we get? We get one, two, three, two, three, four, all of them combined. Now, if we do intersect here, if we do intersect here, what we would get is we would get the parts that are common in both the tables, right? In both the tables, column parts are two, three. So in the resulting set, we would have only two and three if we used intersect. Now, we can also get two and three using intersect in other databases uh, but not in MySQL because we don't have intersect here so if you want two and three only that is intersect uh, emulating the intersect query operator from other databases how can we do that 
as you can see 2 is here 2 is here 3 is here 3 is here so we just want the common rows in our result set but we can do that using inner joins as you can see as you have already done in inner joins what we do is we use we join two tables using a common column right like this 2 3 2 3 so in in a join we but we have to define which columns we want to select if you only select id from one table then we will only have 2 3 right so that is like emulating what uh, emulating a join sorry emulating an intersection okay so that will that is going to be an assignment for you in this chapter so it will be in the worksheets so in union what we did is we got all the names right from uh, our customers and employees table we got all the names of uh, employees and all the names of our customers and when we did union all there was one extra row right so that means one row is common in these uh, unions sorry one row is common in our employees table and customers table so name of one employee and name of one customer is same so by using intersect what we can do is we can get that name so what I want you to do is you need to find out you need to you need to find out the name of that customer or that employee that is you know the same now this is uh, the minus operator as you can see what it does it it compares the result of two queries and returns distinct rows so we will see what that is in uh, a short while and the rules are same you know the numbers of column need to be the same in the uh, result set of the queries and there needs to be com compatible data type of the columns and the syntax is also similar we just select column list from table one and we'll write minus and then we select column list from table two okay so let's see an example here let's say we have table one with one two and three as the result set and table two with two three and four as the result set so when we do minus what we get is we get the values from table one that are non-existent in table two so as you can see here one is not in table two two is in table two three is also in table two and hence we get one in our result set so what happens is it tries to uh, subtract two from one so but one is not here so it gets one here so it first tries to find if there is one in table two it does not so it's here it tries to find if two is there in table two if two is there then we don't have that in the final result set and if it tries to find if three is there in the table two three is there so we don't have three in the final result set so this is the venn diagram of minus so what it ha what it does is this is table one this is table two and these are the common values in both the tables as you can see here two three are in both the tables so in the result set we only have values that are not in table 2 okay so you want to get one now this is similar to left join uh, if you remember what used to happen in left join is we used to get all the tables from left column right this one one and we used to get only the common ones from table 2 so if 2 and 3 are common in table 1 and table 2 then uh, we could get the values from those rows from table 2 okay now but in this minus we only get the ones that are just in table one and not in table two so we only get one okay now this is all we're going to talk about minus because minus is also not present in mysql but you can use this minus query in other sql servers okay so this is all we're going to talk about at the moment but if you want you can try to emulate it using left joints and let me know what happens